Look, these days I barely get the vent, but now I'm about to. Pete, we barely speak, but it hurt me deep when I had low shoes. You sneaky, but I peeped, it hurt me deep when I had coach you. We ain't on the same tag, gotta get the fuck from around DJ you, and I can go to sleep. It's happening, y'all. Trust me, it's happening. Welcome to My Train of Thoughts, the first podcast ever on wheels. We got a special guest in the building on BPZ. Hey, what up, what up, what up? What's up, up big bro? I'm chilling, man. It's, let me, where the name come from, though? Where you get the name from? Oh, shit, I ain't like how people say my real name. My real name, uh, Paris. Oh, what? Yeah, man. They, they that's fire, like, though. Paris, that's They used to call me like Paris. They used to call me Paris Hilton and shit. I ain't like that. Oh, all right. Oh, mama, but yeah, though, I put yeah. the OMB in front of the OMB, me and my brothers. Fire. Mm-hmm. I, that was my next question, what the OMB stand for, man. Yeah, my yeah. brothers, that's that's fire. And where you from, for the people that don't know, where you? For the people who don't know, I'm from uh, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Oh, Alabama. Yeah, this is yeah. our first This our first Alabama guest in the Raul, building. Raul. Yeah. <laughs> that's fire right there, man. T- well, tell us what that Tell us what that was like growing up in Alabama. Shit, uh, shit. Slumps or oh, yeah, it's a slump. It probably wasn't no different than what y'all used to. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, it wasn't even that bad to me for real, for yeah. real. Until I got older and just peeped. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I wasn't supposed to be living like that. You feel me? Yeah, shit that be seeming normal to us don't really yeah, be normal. Yeah, it'll like, be normal. Because when you normal. when you tell when you tell your story to like a civilian or some shit, they be like, yeah, that ain't no like, fucking oh, normal. That's what that's really what made like yeah. I'm, I'm like, man, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, them, them my little homeboys and shit. They mama and they daddy used to, uh, they mama used to cook dinner. Everybody yeah. sit at the table and shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't never had no shit like that. I thought that was just in the movies. Yeah. Too. Oh, so you actually got to see that shit. It's like, oh, nah, they Yeah, really... I don't know what the fuck. Because I went to my homeboy house for, yeah. uh, I spent the night at my people in them house, bro. They, they family was like just, whole night, I'm, I'm just looking like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on in this motherfucker? <laughs> Nigga, like, that's only in movies and I'm shit, right? Mama. Yeah, that's a fact, though. And then I, I I was watching the interview. They said you moved to California. You moved to LA and shit. You mm-hmm. moved to Cali yeah. and shit. What age you moved to Cali? I was twelve. Oh, yeah, my, I, my first time in California. I was twelve. That shit was totally different, bro. Like different ball game. Yeah, it took me a couple years to get used to that shit. What was different about it? I had a I had a friend that moved to uh, Cali. She was like she had to learn how to talk different because they ain't really understand. Yeah, yeah like that. And she shit. came from New York, so like everything different. Like how they talk, how they dress. Yeah. How they joke, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, everything different. So it was like, I had to get used to that shit. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you say how they joke, so like, they, some certain shit you probably took offensive, like, yeah. they, you ain't understand the way they was playing. Yeah, like white people saying nigga and shit. What? Like, yeah, like they, but they use it in like regular conversation, like like a black motherfucker. I'm like, I was cool. At first, I'm like, what the fuck? I had a fight with a white nigga my first, like, month out that motherfucker. Yeah. He said, nigga, I. <laughs> what? Yeah, like we like, don't be cool. saying that for where we come from. Like, like it's cool. You're not even allowed to say no shit like, like that. What? You ain't even for the play with me like that, guys. Yeah. And I'm fresh out of Alabama. Yeah, <laughs> man, you crazy as fuck. Damn, man. Yeah, that's and that's not the, that's not the place you could say that. Yeah, like, that's what I'm you saying. You not getting away with that. They, they know you ain't for the city. They yeah. know they can't say that shit. But I ain't got nothing against no white people. Yeah, no, nah, that's a feel. fact. It's just certain shit. Just like we can't say certain shit. And, hey, you know, it's a culture thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What would you say, like, that's so when you got to Cali, you say you jumped off the porch out there or? Oh, no, I was out right off the porch. I feel like, depending on what a motherfucker car off the porch. Like, really outside, like, you know what I'm saying? Doing shit, you know, not, not, not getting into kid shit that we wasn't supposed to be doing, like, Grown people probably hustling or oh, yeah, been robbing, out, whatever it was. Yeah, I've been out the pool. Yeah? Yeah, I've been out the pool. I would probably, like, if I got to be, like, realistic, I probably jumped out the pool, like, right before I went to California, probably, like, 10, 11. Mm. Like, 10, 11. What would you say What would you say was the craziest shit you seen growing up? Oh, my pa, my mm-hmm. homeboy had killed himself. But mm. shit. My condolence. Yeah, my homeboy killed himself playing with a gun and shit. And shit, I found my grandma dead in the fourth grade. I was I was like seven or eight when my homeboy killed himself. You said you was dead. You seen him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, my my partner, he was sixteen. The white boy, crazy ass white boy, yeah. named Joe, playing with the gun and shit. He used to always play with the gun, so I ain't think nothing of it. I'm playing the game, and goddamn, I'm playing the rock band shit. Y'all know the little rock band. Yeah, band. I remember them, Joe. Yeah. yeah, I just held, I turn around, cause it's gone. What? You know, mama, I ran up out of there. My brother ran up out of there. Ain't know what to do. You said you was what twelve? I was like seven or eight. Seven. Yeah, I was like seven or eight. I know that shit probably fucked you up. Like. Yeah, yeah, but 
I, I, I be psyching myself out, though. Like, once I seen that shit, like, I, I convinced myself that death was normal. Mm. Like, shit, that shit like a baby being born, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't nothing. So that's how I, that's how I cope with the shit. Like, okay. shit, hey, that was his time, I guess. Yeah. So 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 you equate that to, like, a baby being born, shit mm-hmm. happen every day type yeah, shit. Yeah, my mama, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how I need to get through that shit. Wow, that's tough. I never heard nobody say that. Oh, going to Cali, oh, moving to Cali, would you say that, like, saved you a little bit or you were still, like... Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah, that, it, it saved a nigga like a motherfucker because my whole, like, like how I think, everything about how I think, like, changed. You feel me? I seen yeah. that the world was big as fuck. It's way more shit that mm. I be doing and shit. And then just me talking to my cousins and shit and just seeing, like, they mind stuck in Mobile. They they mind stuck in Alabama. It just it, yeah. I took so I took my mama taking us to California as a real blessing. Like wow, you feel me? Cause it's it like my little home, but one of my close little partners he died before he ever got on a plane. That's like, crazy. He never got on a plane before. That's crazy. Scared of heights and died. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It'd be it'd be wild niggas that be in the hood that ain't never been like across the street from their house. Like yeah, yeah, never been on a, never been on a fucking plane. Never been outside of. Whatever borough they from, man, mm-hmm. that shit is not like, like a that's like a real thing yeah, in the hood. Like, no, mama, that's a real motherfuckers thing. can't even see past that. Like, don't need. I swear to God, yeah. Really, and it's it's couple niggas that don't even want to see past that that's shit. That's a fact. I think I was just talking about that with somebody too. They was like, yo, niggas just be so stuck. Like, I think it'd be fair. Niggas be scared to change. Yeah, niggas be scared to change. You know, when you change and shit, well, when 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 change come, it be uncomfortable. So niggas yeah. just be niggas be stuck in their comfort zone, man. Yeah. Know what I mean? Cause it took us three days on the stolen U haul man to get to California. Mm. Yeah. I'm oh, y'all about, drove. Yeah, ain't too much. Ain't too yeah. much more uncomfortable you can get. Yeah. <laughs> you you was opposed to it at first though, like yo. I... Nah, nah, I was all the way. I was all the way with it. Cause oh, right. when I hit California, I'm thinking like palm trees. And... Yeah. Movie stars and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. F- so I was all the way with it. I wasn't tripping. I ain't care about the drive. I ain't care about none of that shit. Yeah. How you, how you feel about that? Like, if you had a close friend that was like scared to move, like, like that 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 that, that didn't want to like change, and he was comfortable where he at. Like, do you distance yourself from that person, or you speak to them like and be like, yo, it's more than life than this shit. Yeah, I tell him. I tell him. But if it if, if it take him too long to grasp that shit, what I'm trying to tell a nigga, then yeah. I I probably distance myself. But I always give people that chance. Like, yeah. Like man, the world big now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I always tell them, like, man, the world big. But if I see a nigga still stuck in that, cause it took me a lot to change. Like, yeah. And I, I, I be looking at it like, bro, if if I'm telling you this mm-hmm. shit, then you should really take heed of this shit, cause you know how I used to be. Right, you know? right. So it's like, if a nigga don't want to listen to that shit, oh yeah, you tripping then. Yeah, you got distance yourself type mm-hmm. shit. So when you get you get to California, you start rapping immediately, or what inspired you to start rapping? I was always just writing raps and shit since mm-hmm. I was little. I always like the words. I always like uh like language arts and shit. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I always had love for music. But when I went to California, that was my first time like just rapping in front of a group of people. Mm. Excuse me. And then they 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 was drawn to a nigga, so it was like, damn, oh yeah, this is what I could be. I could do this shit type yeah. of shit. That's where that came from. Was, what you had, like a showcase or some shit like nah, that? Nah, hell no, I was rapping at school. All right. And then by the time I was done rapping, I'm talking about teachers around this motherfucker. I got a big ass group of people around yeah. me. Fire. Oh, mama, the security, the, the, the <laughs> yeah. campus security came over that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm like, I could do something with this shit. So you always had this type of flow, like, or you, you switched it up as you got older type shit? As like? I got older, I switched it up. I used oh. to use a lot of, like, metaphors and shit. Yeah. But then I'm like, I started, like, paying close attention to, like, what I went through in life. When I realized, like, what I was going, what I went through and what mm-hmm. I was going through in life was, like, different and it wasn't normal. Right. Then I started saying to, to myself, like, shit, everybody can, like, think of a metaphor, but everybody ain't got this story. To Type tell. of pain in them, yeah. yeah. You I'm got saying. a lot of pain. I don't want to say pain music, but like you said, mm-hmm. shit that you've been through that, that, you know, motherfuckers can relate to for real, mm-hmm. for real, like. But can't put it in the words. Can't mm-hmm. put it in the words, like. Whoa, that's 100%. You 100% right. I be liking, um... I was telling my man, my man rap too. I'm like, yo, I don't never got to express myself as long as you keep rapping. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you be saying anything I be feeling and don't know how to say. And I don't even be liking to talk to people. So yeah. I probably won't ever say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just be in a motherfucker. And that shit be therapeutic as I'm rapping that shit too. Like, that's a real it's thing. Like, like yeah, you letting it out. Why yeah. You on my mama. For you to be an artist. And, and I, I, I wasn't sure if artists really overstood that that part. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think every artist do, but I think now, it's a lot. I'm saying the ones that, the ones that do talk talk for the, for, the, for the people that been through shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think niggas be known for sure. 
Who was, who would you say inspired you growing up? Oh, what, what all this? Lil Boosie. Mm. Lil Boosie. Tell uh, Boosie. Kevin Gates. Chief Keep. Yeah, that's fine. That's I, fuck, I, fuck, I fuck with Boosie. I fuck with Kevin Gates. We definitely got to get them on the show too, man. <laughs> so. What was like the most unexpected thing when it came to like you being successful and shit? When it's big to thing, when I... Like people who I ain't expect to goddamn start acting different, they start acting different. That was the most unexpected thing. Hey, like, you keep it's, saying that. It's like a whole, it's like my whole life just switched. Like it's like I went to sleep and woke up to a whole new like life. Everybody acting weird. When when did you know, when did you feel like yo I really made it like this it's up from here like I don't think I, I don't think I still I, I don't think I got that feeling yet. No. Nah. I think of when I perform in Africa or some shit. Yeah. When I like do like one of them shows, then yeah. I'm be like, yeah, I done made it. Like, cause America ain't nothing. Well, I ain't gonna say America ain't nothing. It's just like, yeah, nigga done been around this bitch so many times, bro. So you don't feel like yo, it's happening, like it's, yeah, it's, hap- it's happening, but it ain't happening yet. It ain't happening. So I don't yet. Still, get too happy. Yeah, you got a lot. Of, you feel like you still got a lot, a lot of more work to do and shit like that. Hell yeah, I got, I got a long ass road to go, but I done came a long way though. Yeah, but the road long as a motherfucker. Where I'm trying to go. Type shit. I respect it. You got the album about to drop? Yeah, June. June, the Paris. Paris. Yeah. But I was going to ask you where the name come from, but that's... Yeah, that's my name. That's yeah. your name. That's, <laughs> that's fire. So did you just put that La in front of it? No, nah, that's my, that my whole name. Yeah, oh, uh, La Paris. Paris. Yeah, okay. it's uh, L-E apostrophe. Okay, you yeah. did say that pawn, so... Uh-huh. That's yeah. fire, man. Tell us a little bit about the album. Many features, like... Uh, I got Kevin Gates on up. I got Team Eastside Peas on up. I got, I got uh, T. Grizz on that motherfucker. No way from the east. Uh, uh, man, I'm Trump man, bro. I won't get. Uh, it's hard to get all this out here. I won't get little B Love on now. Oh yeah, shout out B Love. B Love ain't far from here neither. I fuck with B Love. I fuck yeah. with K Flock too. Yeah, I like uh, I like uh, yeah, free bro. I like um, probably your foreign too though. Tape shit. I fuck yeah. with bro careers man. How he be working this shit? Yeah, I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah. That shit, guys. That's fine. He, he, give, he give me like OG. Mm-hmm. OG vibe, man. I be fucking with it. I be yeah. fucking with it. Yeah, that's dope, man. I definitely can't wait. I'm definitely gonna tap in, man. Ooh, I like that one hole too. Ice Spice, I like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that whole yeah, everybody keep coming up here saying Ice Spice, Ice Spice, man. Tap in. That whole fan though. Oh, yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. She got some shit with her too, man. She definitely got some shit with her. Mm-hmm. She definitely on the on the on the on a big big rise right now. Yeah, she doing her thing though. Yeah, she is. Yeah, shout out to her. Whoa. So you got damn that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, you got a couple good features on the drink. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's the story behind that album? Like, was it personal? Was it was it? it it's like, more what? like I'm, I I like to say I'm having more fun with it because I always mm. talk about I always talk about like what I've been through, but I don't talk about like me as a person. You feel me? This yeah. this showing all my personality. I might be turnt one day on some turnt shit. I might be on some mellow shit like I yeah, am yeah. now. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, I'm really showing more of that for real, for real. Cause a nigga bipolar on the low. Oh what? Yeah, I'm self-diagnosed. I think everybody bipolar, man. That shit oh, is just know. mood swings, nah, man. Nah, real talk though. That's, that's real shit. That shit is just mood swings. Everybody don't be feeling the same way every day. Every it's impossible. Day. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers that be like they wake up happy every day. I think that shit Something a myth. Wrong. Bitch, yeah, you insane, like, yo. Yeah, you can. Oh, motherfucker, you deranged, bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but. Yeah, I feel like everybody got bull swings and shit like that. I know I definitely do, man. Man, what? Oh. My shit come out the blue. I don't be know what's wrong with me, man. What's the mommy, bro? <laughs> just don't be so. thinking about a wake up like that or in the midday, man, just be thinking what? about some shit. And then it's old. Uh-huh. Like, my homeboy never be kissing me. Like, I be laughing and shit. <laughs> then I just have my head down playing in my neck. Yeah. be like, bro, get out of there. Whatever yeah. you thinking about, You got to snap out, out that get shit. Get out of there. Real talk. Be like, oh, shit, you caught me. <laughs> Yeah, nah, that's a real thing. What's your son, bro? I'm Aquarius. Oh, you're Aquarius. I fuck with Aquarius. Leo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah one of my f- closest partners are Leo. I yeah, fuck my with sister. Y'all. My sister Aquarius, man. Yeah, I fuck with y'all. That's one sure. of my best friends. Lord, I fuck with the Aquarius. I, I definitely think, because I think a lot. Yeah. We, yeah, be, in, we be in our head. Yeah, that's a fact. Lord. Oh. Um, if you had to say, what, what's your most, like, sentimental uh, track? To date that you recorded, it could be unreleased or it could be some Sen- shit. sentimental, like as far as like, like life or relationship. Mm, I, was it soul ties that's relationship? Yeah, nah, that that's like life and relationship. It is yeah. right. You mixed it up. I think I think that's one of my most sim- sentimental records. Or yeah. like or like need your space. One of them. Yeah, one of them two for sure. For sure, soul ties one of my favorite songs. Though. Mine's too. 
Uh, As you you believe in soul ties? Hell yeah, I believe in that shit. Elab- la- elaborate on that a little bit. Like what? Like 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 if I had sex with a girl, like a part of me getting left in her type shit, and she walking around with me type shit. That's that's what so, I feel. So she walking t- around with my energy. Yeah, but that's shit. every chick though. Yeah. If Every I, if, ticket. I don't think I think if I use a condom, then it kind of like stops all the time. But that that raw sick shit, I feel like yeah. Yeah, you said you said every chick can't get that too. Nah, he said that in a son. He definitely he definitely said that though. Some morals and principles that you live in down by that's non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Yeah, like ain't no ain't no ain't no change in that. If you want, I got a lot of morals and principles. I, I ain't fucking my home bar girl. Mm. Nigga, I ain't talking to no police. Mm. Uh. Whatever I, whatever I, I don't do nothing in private that I'm scared to talk about in public. Uh, yeah. Take care of family. Uh, family first for sure. Uh, That's your point, man. Mm-hmm. I fuck with those. Yeah, that, them probably like my main four right there. You got to, I, I was, I was watching one of your interviews. I know you got a seven year old son. Yeah, he's seven. Y'all. Seven, so. He look bad ass. Yeah. <laughs> With that, with that being said, how do you, how do you plan on using like your influence and your power that you got right now to like inspire the youth and and, and influence like your son and shit like that? Mm-hmm. How do you plan on as, like, as far going? as like um, as far as like the youth, I really be leaning more towards like the 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 kids who who growing up like I did. You feel yeah. me? I just be wanting to show them like that shit possible because it was a time where I ain't think that shit was possible. Like being a rapper was like a myth. You feel me? Yeah. Like that shit was like running the lottery, but I just want to show them niggas like shit. Whatever you see in your head, you can have in your hands. Everything started off as an idea, mm-hmm. for real, for real. But a motherfucker just had enough willpower and brain juice to like make that shit happen. So a nigga can make anything happen. And then my son, yeah. shit. <laughs> I just want my son to be green. I don't want him to know shit about no Tank street. Shit, no. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I just I want to pave the way for him, so I yeah. just put him in position. You feel me? He ain't right. got to learn shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just want to have everything set up for them like like the like everybody else be doing for yeah. their kids. Yeah. So so certain rules won't even apply to him. He don't yeah. even gotta know nothing. Yeah. That's what it's about too. At the um, end of the day. Exactly. Oh, that's fire. As far as this whole drill shit, I seen you in the school too with the with the young mm-hmm. boys. That was that was a school back home or some shit. Nah, that was a, uh, I went to a school in Wichita, Kansas. Then I had went to a school oh, right. in, um, in St. Louis. Fire. So I had went to uh, like the bad the bad school in East City. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to go. Was that like a junior game. high school, them kids? I went to a high school. Oh, and, I went, high... and I went to a, um, a uh, middle school, yeah. So you, what you was chopping it up with them and shit? Yeah, like? just talking to them and shit. The first school I went to, them little niggas was bad as hell. You know, motherfucking cussing and shit. But yeah. every one of them little niggas, I, I seen like a part of myself in them. Yeah. Film, and then after questions they asked me, like a little nigga had asked me like, man, he like, how do you get away? Like, how when you in beef and shit, how do you get away from it if you want to do something else? You feel me? I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, bro, I see myself in this little nigga, bro. I'm like, bro, just whatever you focus your, your attention on in your mind on, that's what you going to be. That's what you right. going to do. So I'm like, shit, if you rap, nigga, stay in the studio. That's Fine. what you going to be. Whatever you do, that's what you going to be. What made you take rap serious like that? Like, like say, fuck everything else, fuck the streets and all that? Like, shit, um... Once I like I like I just peep like it's so much money to be made mm. and shit. And it's like really like a stepping stool, a big ass stepping stool to get to them billions and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh yeah, bro. I got I got a I got an opportunity to change change the uh the blueprint mm-hmm. for my family. I got an opportunity to change the the layout for my family. You feel me? I can be the first mm-hmm. one. And I yeah. can be the one that my grand my great 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 grandkids talk about like shit. Fire. My granddad, my great granddad the one who started this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Yeah. So, so you the only one in your family that rap type shit? Nah, my brother rap iceberg. My oldest oh, brother right. rap too. He in prison though. Oh, right. free him, free him. And man. my sister sang. My mama sang too. Oh, so y'all all do there's a lot of music in, yeah. on in your family. That's fire. I was reading one of your captions. It said the man scared to die never got the chance to live. Oh yeah, my mama. What that mean to you? It just mean like don't be scared. Like death just like a baby being born. Like I'd be on a building and I I get on the ledge and people like, oh, you might fall. What? To me, I'm like, man, this shit fun as hell. Nigga, I'm living. You feel me? So it's like I would have never had that fun if I would have thought like, damn, I might fall off this motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went skydiving. 
Yeah, that's on my bucket list too. Well, I wasn't though. That shit was fun as hell. But <laughs> that's I was, on my bucket list. I was, I was scared at first, yeah. but falling out the sky and shit. That shit, I ain't had no choice but to have fun. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Grab a plane? That's a fuck. <laughs> it was like, yeah. I Once was you up there, you up there. It's lit. Yeah. Man. I went Paris selling too. The to, uh, I forgot where I was. That's what at. I gotta do. I went Paris. That shit is just like you on a balloon and a boat all the way down there. <laughs> that shit like a motherfucking end. But yeah, skydiving is next. It was like if you were scared to do it, you would have never you, had I that fun. Never, that's a fuck. You would have never lived. Copy. I like that saying a lot too. I had to. I had to take that. Do you feel like um, nowadays with all this shit going on, you feel like the value of human life has decreased, while anything else is going up as far as tangible things, as far as shit we could touch. Uh, the the, yeah. the value of life, like how people, you know, with all this shit going on. Yeah, yeah, bro. Cause I feel like back in the days, a nigga see a bad bitch. And it, like like a bad bitch will walk in a restaurant and everybody be looking and shit. Yeah. Nowadays it's just like huh? another BBL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like it ain't it ain't even as, that shit as, ain't even. It ain't even that. No it's more. not a thing no more. Yeah. Everybody got it. Ain't nobody. Ain't but no I feel more. like with this AI shit, I feel like with this AI shit that uh that's that's covered. Yeah. I feel like that shit gonna be big, so it's gonna drive up to. The importance of the human experience. You feel me? Like people gonna appreciate the human shit more. Mm-hmm. They start trying to replace us with robots yeah, and shit yeah. like that, right? So like if, a, if robots making the songs and shit, when you see a nigga mm. freestyling in real time, that shit gonna be like, oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Live shows and shit gonna be way. It gonna nigga numbers gonna go up. That's a fact. You know, certain shit like that be happening. I'm not. Saying, I don't really agree with the whole artificial intelligence shit, yeah, but you know, certain shit gotta happen for motherfuckers to value, start valuing shit again. Mm-hmm. If not, then that's what anything in life like you certain you don't value shit to get taken away. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You might get lucky enough to touch it or get it again, and so you feel what I'm saying? If you mm-hmm. learned that lesson, like yo, you gotta value, you gotta value yeah, certain yeah, shit, yeah. whatever it is. It's like that blue check shit. Yeah. Oh, mama, everybody took that shit for granted. Like, you think everybody took... got it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> uh, mama, so now blue check shit don't mean nothing unless you had that bitch since 2021. They start running that social media shit like a straight business, man. Yeah, hell know, yeah. You know, all that shit was premeditated anyway. They they planned on building that shit up the way it was and then start charging for anything. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that shit was, was already going to happen. Speaking of social media, I see you got like like a millions and millions of views on 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 the YouTube shit. I see your Instagram numbers go up crazy. Uh-huh. You think it's uh um more important to have a buzz on social media or club or club based? Which one you think is club of more based. value to uh-huh. you, like as an artist? Me, I ain't gonna lie. For me, as far as my artistry, I feel like in person as well. Like I feel like people be drawn to me more in person, person mm. like at them shows and shit. So I'd rather have like a more club, like venue type thing. Venues mm. over club, like hard tickets for show. Right, club. right, right. But like in person though, I feel like that's more my thing. I don't really care about social media. So no, it just happened like that. You just be having all. Of... Yeah, I just I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I just be getting all that motherfucker fucking around, saying crazy yeah. ass shit. No, I respect it. No, I'm just... Um, I heard you got the weed strand. Yeah. You got your weed strand. Overkill, purple lot of Fine. You ain't bring no samples for the gang, oh, man. I ain't bring I don't that even out. smoke, but <laughs> I'm like, yo, I heard you got the strand out. You got that's fire too, bro. You 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 you, you uh it's Oakland based mm-hmm. with a cannabis company. Mm-hmm. How long that took to come about, like? Probably like six months. Mm. I say like six months. All I had to do is like find the right growers. Yeah. Find the right weed and shit. So you have to smoke wild, scent, like... Oh, a lot of that oh shit. Oh, my God. Oh, a lot of that shit. And you, do you smoke a lot of weed, though? Like, I don't smoke as much as I used to. Okay. I used to smoke probably, like, a little bit over half a zip a day by myself. That's not bad. Yeah. So how, how the fuck, how the fuck do you pick that shit out? Like, yo, this is it right here. This is the... Sh- this I like gelato-type weed. I like okay. I like weed with, like, a certain smell and, like, a certain color. So, yeah, it'd be kind of easy for yeah. me. If you ain't got that smell and that color, I'm cool. Copy. So yeah, so you plan on what having like smoke shops and all that shit throughout? Yeah, the, oh. yeah. I want to be the first one with a weed store in my in my city when we Fire. legalize it. Yeah. Oh, there's no weed stores nah, out there. We ain't even legalized yet. I think we gonna oh, okay. be the last people to legalize. Okay, it. okay, okay. It's not legalized yet. Yeah, yeah that's dope. I'm, I'm just trying to. I already have my feet in the dough. So when they do legalize, like yeah. just burning the paper, like hey, I've been doing this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, no, that makes no. sense. That's smart mm-hmm. too, bro. That's smart. Besides you smoking weed, what made you want to get into that though, like? Oh shit! I just want to expand my horizon, and shit, and mm-hmm. just and just get get used to the motion of goddamn having having yeah. other shit going on. Tape you shit. Know what I mean? Yeah. So you so you you fuck with the entrepreneurship. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's definitely important. Flip that bread, bro. 
Well, any you they said you're an inspiring chef. Mm-hmm. A chef you cook, bro? I be trying to cook. I don't really know how to cook like that, but it be working for me though, you know. Oh what? Oh mama. See, I got the I got the cat, I got the whole shit right here, man. Yeah, they said you're I got a, I got a chef. cooking show though, that bitch called Hood Essentials. Oh what? Yeah, I be doing all types of shit though. I don't just be cooking, but yeah, cooking. That's the that's the. That's the shit what, what's it on YouTube? Yeah, Hold yeah, yeah, oh, we got a tap, we got a tap into that. Yeah, that's bro, fire, make bro. Make steak, of deals, you know. Yeah. Fried bologna sandwiches, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah, Fried that's fire. <laughs> that's fire, bro. All yeah. types of shit. Hey, yo, we be we we be playing this little game before we get out of here. It's called the penny for your thoughts. What you think? What would you say molded you more, nature or nurture? Nurture. No, wow. nature. Nature? Yeah, because I was outside. Mm. I was outside, but that concrete made me for sure. And I ain't really had nobody just baby me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I ain't really get a lot of, like, nurturing love. For real, for real. Yeah. Everybody asks, like, what would you tell your 18-year-old self, right? My question is this. What's a question that you had as a youngin that you can answer for yourself now? Oh, shit. Uh... Is the rap game really what I think it is type shit? Is it? Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell nah, nigga. That shit weak. Well, it ain't weak. It just ain't what I thought it was. That shit a myth. That shit like a, a whole nother world, bro. Man, hell yeah, I know you bro. can't disclose too much, but that shit like, everybody be saying that shit. That, that shit, shit like. Man, dog. That shit worse than the streets? Nah, because you can, you can. Not. Well, you can die. Th- no, rap. that's what I'm saying. Not. Let me let me paraphrase that. Not worse in the streets when it comes to like uh wrist wise. It, it, I'm it, talking it. about grittiness. Yeah, hell yeah. Graminess. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's probably like it's neck more... and neck. It's neck and neck for sure. But it's like it's worse in the industry to me because I can see the street shit coming. I know I, mm. I can see the street shit coming from a mile away. But this industry shit, they playing games that I don't know about. You feel me? Yeah. It's like getting on a chessboard and don't not knowing like what the rook do. Yeah. Know what I mean? Or yeah. Like, damn, you don't even know how to protect your king. That's crazy. See this? You you, you said that correctly too. You, these niggas think they everybody think they smart. <laughs> that's a whole that's a whole number of shit, man. That was a lot. I got one more question that I been meant to ask this. More guns means less crime. Oh yeah, that what I said. I, I said that before. I, huh? Yeah, I agree with that. I go on mama because it's yeah. like if everybody got a gun, fool. Mm-hmm. And everybody know everybody got a gun. Niggas gonna be more respectful all type shit. That's like, a fact. In the south, like we we respectful as a motherfucker. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. How you doing? Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hold the dope motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, you good? Because yeah. everybody got it. Everybody got that's that. Ain't no nigga. Bro, my my head that bitch. That's a fact. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Nigga gonna hey, yo, you know respectful. that shit stopped me from going to Atlanta for a long time. My people used to be like, yo, come to Atlanta. I'm like, nigga, everybody got a gun out there. <laughs> I'm not coming out there. You like, yo, that's the point. Everybody yeah. got a gun, so every nobody's yeah. not gonna be on no Ooh. bullshit because they think you got it on you, your man got it on you, your people. Motherfucker gonna second yeah. guess it like a motherfucker yeah, gonna second guess. They gonna that's be like, smart. Uh, mm-hmm. he got a little bulge on his hip. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Hey, yo, it was definitely nice talking to you, man. You got the single drop in the May. Thank you, ready. Thank you, ready, man. All right. Any, anything else you wanna tell the people before we get up out of here? Stop eating dick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh yeah, King Vaughn, King Vaughn, your man too. Oh, RP yeah, King Vaughn, yeah. yeah RP, how was that, man? How you met Vaughn? That was fire. I, I shit had like 13 million views. I had me Vaughn putting up to the studio on uh on Dirk and shit, bro. Was in now we was just chopping it up, laughing about a lot of shit. Yeah. Laughing about a whole lot of rappers and shit. <laughs> that type of shit. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, we ended up doing the songs and shit. We had did two songs before he passed. Both of yeah. them out though. Yeah, yeah. I seen one of them since like, them shit just like I said, I shit got like 13 million views mm-hmm. or some shit. I like that. Wait, I shot that out. It looked like y'all. We shot that in Atlanta. Okay, all right. We was in the A. All right. Fire. You been all over, like, state to state so far? Hell yeah. yeah. Everywhere, huh? I I be in the Midwest a lot. Midwest, uh, West Coast, and South. Uh, I come up here probably, like, once a month. I need to come up here more, though. You like like, 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 New This shit trash, man. My first time I came out here, I ain't like it because I was always staying in Times Square. There's too many people. Oh, yeah, that's not cool. But once I start moving out of Manhattan and shit, I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, you went went to the Bronx. You're in the Bronx now, though. I went to to Brooklyn my first time. I like this shit. 
Yeah, bro. Like, hey, I, bro. I rolled through Harlem. I rolled through the Bronx folk too. Nigga had stopped. Like, hey, P, that was. I'm like, okay. Right. I was like, I can do this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see you heavy in New York. You got a couple of. We got a couple of mutual friends too, yeah. man. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we talking. Hell yeah. I'm talking about on the on the gram. Oh, okay, all right, man. My page following you and shit from the town. Bro, shit. Whoa, you you got to go to the club, my out. way, man. That's what I'm saying. You got to pull up to the club, <laughs> man. You gotta pull up to the club. What, what club am I about to go to? I've been to Starless and shit. That you shit like that? Bo- that shit bougie. I won't like, go to one of them. Yeah. Downtown is go to a regular spot. Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna go to that upper edge yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm a project, baby. I don't even them yeah, hoes don't even get naked or nothing. Yeah. Oh, they get naked in the south, right? Raw shit. Butt ass nigga too. Raw shit. <laughs> but boot old nigga than that motherfucker. Yeah. Real talk. They get everything off. Like <laughs> I think New York the only one, I think that's illegal out here. New York, the that only shit crazy. They ain't got no yeah. underground spots where the bitches. Yeah, they do got some. Uh, okay, y'all gotta put me in that direction, man. Nah, but them, they don't look good. Them bitches don't oh, look good. Them the bitches that got D's and F's in strip class, oh, man. Yeah, cool. They ain't make. They ain't make the cut. That's why they working yeah, in the underground. Yeah, that's why they busting that ass. You know what I'm saying? They working in the underground spots, bro. <laughs> we could definitely hit a spot up next time you come to New man, York or some sure, shit, for bro. For sure, we got bro, to. Definitely appreciate you, brody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's happening, y'all. Trust me, it's happening. Make sure I go like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel at My Train of Thoughts, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's the one and only Yady Winfrey. We checking out. Yeah. It's happening, y'all. Trust me, it's happening. Great. I was, I was like seven or eight when my home was kid. You said you was there. You seen him? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, my, my partner, he was sixteen. The white boy, crazy ass white boy. Yeah. Name Joe. Playing with the gun and shit. He used to always play with the gun, so I ain't think nothing of it. I'm playing the game. Goddamn, I'm playing the rock band shit. Y'all know the little rock band. Yeah, I remember them, yeah. Yeah, I just remember. I'm telling you, it was gone. What? Yeah, my mom and I ran up out of there. My brother ran up out of there. Ain't know what to do. You said you were 12? I was like 7 or 8. 7? Yeah, Damn. I was like 7 or 8.